Welcome back, real estate hackers. Thanks for joining the maintenance channel here. We're gonna to talk today about electrical panels, what kind you should have, what the costs are with those, and, and when you should be thinking about upgrading service size or service types. electrician I'm not an expert but I have dealt with tons and tons of electrical issues over the last decade or so and I've seen a lot I've experienced a lot so hopefully I can share some of some of what I've learned and help you let's start with the basics of an electric system in your house so it starts in the street on a telephone pole the wire will come into your house that's how you get the electric to your house sometimes in some developments it'll be underground but for the majority of rental properties, you'll see the wire coming in from a telephone pole to the top of your house, then into a meter on the side of your house, and then into your electrical panel in the basement or sometimes in a the garage. Then in your electric panel, it will be split out into breakers. Each breaker is rated for a num certain number of amps, and then those uh, Breakers are connected to a circuit, to a wire, that will run to different appliances. So typical size breakers are 15 amp breakers or 20 amp breakers. And they go up even higher for bigger appliances, but most of yours will be 15 or 20 amps. Now that means that we can get 20 amp, that breaker will handle 20 amps. So you may have a 100 amp service into your house with a and then a bunch of 20, 15 or 20 amp breakers. In every electrical panel, there should be breakers. But 30 years ago, 40 years ago, they didn't have breakers invented yet. Instead, they used something called fuses. Fuses are a landlord's worst nightmare because fuses don't last forever. They will eventually go bad and you have to replace the fuse. They're also not super safe. What's the cost to upgrade from fuses to breakers. Well, unfortunately, it's not super cheap and it depends on the size service you have. So most of you probably have a 100 or maybe a 200 amp service. If you have fuses, it means it was older and it's probably a 100 amp. So the cost to go from 100 fuses, 100 amp that has fuses to 100 amp that has breakers is going to be roughly around $2,000. If you have uh, 200 amp service is going to be a little more and if you have a 60 amp service, which is pretty rare, but it happens I've, I've seen them uh, it'll be a little less, but you're talking about two thousand dollars for this one-time upgrade So the first question here is should I upgrade from old-school fuses to a panel that has uh, breakers the answer is definitely yes, you should 100% upgrade from fuses to breakers. Trust me, you won't regret it. All right, the next thing to think about is the sizing of your service. So this is this is talking about the, the amperage that your service can handle. Like I said, that can range from 60 all the way up to 400, and it can go much, much higher. But residential, you're, you're normally gonna be in that range. What we've seen is these some of these houses were built with 60 amps or 100 amps, and over time, we've introduced more appliances, more central air systems, and now the home can't handle the, the electric that all the appliances are using, and things will start tripping. So really, the question of whether you should upgrade or not typically comes down to, are you having issues? If you're not having any issues, there's no need to upgrade your panel. You can calculate whether you're gonna have a problem or not. So you can start looking at all your major appliances and see how many amps that appliance draws. And then you can add all these appliances up, uh, all these amps up to see if you're up to your service, right? So let's say you have 100 amps and you never should actually use 100 amps all at once either. 
Um, you, they say never use more than 80%. So if your house is, is a 100 amp service, that means you should only be ever using 80 amps at a time. So you can go around and say like, what if my AC is running? What if my refrigerator is running? What if I'm using my TVs? And you can start adding all these things up. And so like for instance, central air can, you know, a two ton air conditioner can have a seven amp draw right there. So if you have a, so if you're doing the AC and you're on a hair dryer, you can start calculating these things. Uh, what we typically see is it's not normally that they all add up to 80 and you have a problem. It's normally your individual circuits that can't handle it. Um, because you might have a 15 amp breaker and you're starting to plug a bunch of things into that breaker and then you see the breaker tripping. And then the panel's not big enough to add more breakers. Uh, what if you wanna go from 100 to 200 amps? What's the cost there and what goes into it? Well, it's normally a job that can get done in a day. It's gonna require a permit, but like we said in the beginning of this, you have to go out to the street and first have a new wire coming in that's thicker and can handle a bigger draw. Then they're gonna swap out the, take all the wires out of the breaker, out of the panel, put a new panel in. They may, they will probably reuse the breakers if you have breakers, but you'll need a new electrical panel as well. The, the cost that I'm seeing today for an upgrade from 100 amps to 200 amps is somewhere between $2,000 and $3,000. Okay, and then the last thing we should talk about are aging electrical panels. So maybe you have breakers already, maybe you have the 200 amp service and things are going well. Well, eventually your panel may need replaced anyways because it's getting older. I just had a rental property where the main shutoff to the, the main breaker to the panel went bad and we can't turn the, 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 the feed off to the panel anymore. So eventually if you're having problems where you may need to replace the whole system altogether. Now this isn't quite as expensive, it's still expensive because in this situation you're not bringing in a new line from the street, but you're still looking somewhere in the $1,500 to $2,000 range. Hopefully you got something out of today. Uh, bottom line, fuses, no good. Don't use them. Move to breakers. Upgrading your service, don't do it unless you need to.